Hi, it's Howard again uh, with part 7 of my CD collection. Well, let's start off with a CD that I've actually got the curse for. I don't know what happened to it, but it's um, Journey's Greatest Hits. Got the classics on it. I don't stop believing. Anyway, you want it. Send it my love. Great album. Classic, I've said. Next, Danger Danger and Screw It. This for another charity shop buy for a pound. It's original 1992 copy. Got great songs in it like Monkey Business. Slip to the big one. Brilliant power ballad, I still think about you. Don't blame it on love. Great hard rock. Track down the copy of this. I'd seriously recommend it. Next, another greatest hits album. Edward the Great by I Maiden. It's got all their classics on it. Like Run to the Hills, Trooper, Wasted Years, Two Weeks of Midnight. It's I Maiden. Not too much you can say about it, really. Great stuff. Next, another best of album. Best of Britney Fox. Great hard rock in the 80s. Got the classics like Girls School on it. Too late to love. Don't go on way for two, sorry. Moving on the edge. Great hard rock. Next. Bonfire and Point Blank. It's the original copy from 1989. It's got some great songs in it. Like Band Down the Walls, Hard on Me. My favourite Bonfire song of all time. Freedom is My Belief. Absolutely great song. If you track down the copy of this, it's highly recommended. I'd get it. Next, got a second album by Giant, Time to Burn. Another original copy from 1992. Some great songs that like Stay, Save Me Tonight, I'll Be There When It's Over. If you like KOR, this is another album that's highly recommended that you should get. Next, we've got Night Ranger and Midnight Madness. Great album from 1983. It's got the classics on it like Still Rock in America, Rumours in the Air. Sister Christian, you close your eyes. It's another album if you like. AOR, Mordic Rock. It's the word album you're worth tracking, tracking down. Next, a bit of metalcore. Lamb of God. As the pastors burn. Oops, sorry, down. Some great songs there like Ruin, Purified, Fire on Malice. Like metal car, you'll, you'll probably enjoy. Mom of God, and you probably know all about them. Great stuff. Next, another best of album. Best of Papa Roach. This was another album I got from a charity shop for a pound. Got some great songs that like Last Resort, She Loves Me Not, Broken Old. Like that new metal stuff that was popular. Early 2000s, it's highly recommend, recommended. Next, another one of my best of album, the Macard's 20 Golden Crates. British punk band with very funny, funny lyrics. Great songs there like No Sheep Till Buxton, Sweaty Better, Charlotte, Fluffy Pop, Jewel the Schooler. If you like your rock with a bit of sense of humour, Check these out, really good stuff. Next, we've got a promo disc, Lost Horizon, A Flame to the Ground Beneath. Swedish Power Metal, featuring the amazing voice of Daniel Hyman. This includes the classic Highlander and also the classic Pure. I like Power Metal, with a great big voice. Check these out. Absolutely recommended. Next, British Rockers Dare and their second album, Blood from Stone. It's an original copy from 1992. Some great songs there. 
that we don't need a reason. Surrender. And there's Darren Wharton from Finn Wizard, who's the lead singer of the actually ran into him once in Tesco's in Rochdale. Unfortunately I didn't have a camera with myself and get this autograph. Still get it to this day. Next, the cannibal corpse and the Eaton back to life. The Digipack. Cannibal corpse, what can you say? If you like death metal, you probably enjoy some of them. Good stuff. Next, we've got a bonfire and double X. 2006. Some great songs there like We Still Rock, Notion of Love, So What. Great hard melodic rock album. The album that's highly recommended as well. Next, another bonfire album. This is one of them. Two albums and one CD discs. I'm sorry about that CD. Oh. Includes the first album, Don't Touch the Light, and the classic Fireworks. It's an American reissue. Uh, best songs off Don't Touch the Light are Hot to Rock, Longing for You, Staring Eyes. Songs off the classic Fireworks like Ready for Reaction, Champion, Sweet Obsession, American Nights, Fantasy. Can't be recommended any more than a can for fireworks. If you check down the copy of that classic, you're onto a winner. Recently, people have been doing the top tens of, and fireworks by Bonfire would probably be my number three of the best albums of 1987. Great stuff. Talking of 1987, the classic White Snake 1987 album. Still the original copy from 1987. Got all the classic songs like Still the Night, Is This Love, Here We Go Again. But my two favourite songs are, are Bad Boys, Children of the Night. Most people got this album, so I can't really say too much about it. Next, another promo album Italian Power Metalist, Secret Sphere, Sweet Blood Theory. This album is slightly different to the early stuff, this is more proggy. It's still got some good songs on it like Welcome to the Circus, Stranger in Black. It's a great album. Next, we've got the fourth album by Giant, Promised Land. The Digipack. Featuring Terry Brock, that strange words who was now the lead singer. The Dan Huff left. Great album, it's got some good songs like Promised Land, Never Surrender, Two Worlds Cried. Plus, it's got some songs that are a bit like what Van Halen were doing on 1984, kind of a party kind of rock sound, but still good. Next, more Night Ranger, Dawn Patrol. Great album, classic, don't tell me you love me on it. And sing me away. Another album, I like AOR, Hard Rock. Can't recommend it highly enough. Great stuff. Next, we've got British Thrashers Onslaught, featuring Steve Gribbett, who was in Grim Reaper. He's our lead singer from this album. Great songs on it, like In Search of Sanity, My Favourite Welcome to Die, which is like a 12 and a half minute ballad, semi ballad. It's sort of beginning, it thrashes up. It's halfway through. Great album. And um, taking that on, Nicky did a top 10 of 1989, so this would probably be my number three albums of top uh, top albums of 1989. Great album. It's the reissue copy. <clears throat> Next, we've got Hair Metal from 1990. Trouble Tribe. This is their one and only album. Got some great songs on it like Here Comes Trouble, Boys Night Out, Angel or Devil's Kiss. <coughs> on the Crystalist label. This is an original copy. When I bought this, this was £20. It was quite expensive. Great hair metal. 
Next, more white snake. Live in the shadow of the blues, the lava. Live concert featuring all the classics. I slide it in. Is this love? Pull for your love, and here I go again. Still the night. This too's got some more classic songs. Not like Give Me All Your Love. Got to be on my heart again. Ready and willing. Also includes four new songs. Ready to rock. If you want me, all I want is you and dog. Great live album from a great band. Next, another album from 1989. Absolute classic. And it's Vain of No Respect. This is the BGO reissue from 2009. Every song on here is a classic, absolutely brilliant album. If you like glam rock, or just hair metal in general. And this would be probably be number two of my top ten albums of 89. Absolutely brilliant album. Well worth tracking down if you can get it. Next, a bit of metalcore. Trivia, The Crusade. Great album, features the classic anthem, We Are The Fire, love that song. It's also got great songs like Ignition and Detonation. Great album. Next, German power metal, Iron Saviour and The Dark Assault. Still featuring oops, Kai, Kai Hansen. Gamma Ray. Great album. Great songs that like Solar Wings, Predators, Never Say Die. Great album. They also do a cool version of Delivering the Gods by Jesus Priest. Classic German power metal. Next, I Maiden again. And the live album, In Vivo. Two CD disc, two CD. The ones more there, you know, stuff like those pushing Final Frontier album on this tour. And then CD2 has got all the classics like Fear of the Dark, Number of the Beast, How to Be Lying Here. Great live album, can made them. Nowhere near as good as Live After Death. That's still be my favourite live album of all time, but it's not bad. It's worth playing in the car. Next, some more metalcore and Unhearth the March. It's a, like a digipack that comes like the book, showing pictures, and lyrics. It's a two disc version. Got a CD. And also comes with a bonus. <laughs> it's a bonus DVD. It's usually uh, it's just like a studio report. Still a great album, it's got some good art songs like My Will Be Done, The March. Good metal car. Next, another promo disc, a keyless reformation. Seems to have all the Kaius albums on the promo disc. Some good songs there like New Chapter, Blackwing Goddess, Heart of the Serpent, Finish, Power Metal, Stroke, Melodic Death, great stuff. Next, absolutely classic, probably be my top 10 albums of all time, and this would be my number one album of 1987. It's a classic, Wired Up by Jeff Paris. So the original from 1987, absolutely classic. Some great songs there like Crying, Saturday Night, Illusions. Quite a lot of these songs off this album turned up on Vixen's debut album in 1988. Absolutely brilliant. If you love AOR, Melodic Rock, do anything you can to track down a copy of this album. It is great. I think Rock Candy have just re-released it not so long ago. So it should be quite easy to find. Next, bit of Scandi AOR. Wildness from 2017. This is a, another album that I found in the charity shop for a pound. Great Scandi rock. Great songs in there like Highlands, Wine Silent Head. If you like Treats, Skagarak, 
alien. You probably like these. It's good stuff. Next, two classic albums in a double set. The first two Skid Row albums. Self-titled album and Slave to the Grind. Great songs on these two albums like You've Gone Wild, Monkey Business, 18 and Life, I Remember You, Wasted Time. Great albums. Can't say any more about them. Next, got Iced Earth and Horror Show. Great album. Oops. Disc has fallen up. Oops. Sat down. Some great songs there. Probably my favourite on here is uh, Phantom Opera Ghost. It's one of them songs that starts slow and it speeds up. Featuring Matt Ball and also a female singer. Also, do a cover version of Transylvania by Maiden. Great album. Next, we've got the debut album by Bob Alford, Alford Resurrection. Great album. It's got some great songs that like Made in Hell, Locked and Loaded, One You Love to Hate. Actually, we saw him on this tour, he was supporting Iron Maiden at the Manchester Evening of News Arena. Great show, great album. Next, we've got Mad Max. Night of Passion, German Mordic Rockers, featuring Michael Voss, who is also at the band Casanova. This is the Metal Mind reissue. This is number 932 of 2000. Absolutely classic album. This will be my top 10 albums of 1987. Great songs like Burning the Stage, Hearts on Fire, Love Mordered, because of a bonus track, Sean No Mercy. It's another album, if you can track it down, highly recommend you get it. Next, more Scandi AOR. Da Vinci, Back in Business, this is their second album. This is the MTM 2006 reissue. I can say if you like bands like Skagamat Tree, well, so you probably like this band, Da Vinci. Some great songs like 9 and 10, What About the Tears, Play It On the Radio. AOR. Next, another classic AOR album Michael Bourne of Everybody's Crazy. And it's another album that I had on vinyl back in the day. This is, of course, a reissue. See, original had a, a blue sleeve like it is on the back. It's on the reissue, it's just a brownie, cold, oh, brownie picture, sort of. Got some great songs in there like Save Our Love, Dr. Tabbit's Over. The title track Everybody's Crazy, that was written by Paul Stanley. If you're an AOR fan, you should get this album. Great stuff. Next, another great AOR album, Steel Owls Lane. Slayer Slayers of the New World. Some great songs like Give It All to Me, Seven Seas, an absolutely mega ballad, and all I believe in. I absolutely love that song. Featuring man Mike Slammer, used to be in City Boy, or the big hit with 5678. Essential AOR album. Next, some hair metal from 1992. Roxy Blue and Want Some. Great Van Halen vibed hair metal. Some great songs in there like See What to Handle, Rob the Cradle, Talk of the Town, Love on Me. It's an original copy from 1992. Great hard rock. Not sad. Next, more AOR. This is the debut album from Pride of Minds, featuring Jim Petrick, who was a keyboard player in Survivor. I think he wrote most of their hits as well. Great AOR album, featuring good, great songs like It's Criminal. Sound of Home, Music and Me. This is on the Frontiers label. And I think this, this first album is actually quite hard to get on now, but if you can track it down, it's well worth a listen. Next, we've got Irish Melodic Rockers No Sweat. This is an original copy from 1990. Featuring the great songs like Heart and Soul, Tear Down the Walls, 
back hard rock here we are it's another kind of great album you should be listening to you can track it down great stuff next more hair metal from 1992 McQueen Street the self-titled album it's an original copy got some great stuff like Stick It, My Religion, Money great hair metal from the early 90s Love how you need to track down and get a copy of it. Next, Pride of Lions, Roaring of Dreams. Very good AOR, some great stuff like Heaven on Earth, Let Me Let You Go, Turn Around. Pride of Lions never disappoint, so it's another great album. And finally, classic from 1990. This is with my self titled album. This is the Wounded Bird reissue. Great album. Just have this on tape back in the day. It's great song like Don't Wait for Me. Ship of Phil, Axe and Smash, Hellraiser. Great American Power Metal. You could chuck it down. It's highly recommended. Great stuff. Right, that's it for this part. So, hopefully, I might see you part 8. Until then. Have a good day. Bye-bye. Good luck.